Today we're going to be talking about blueprints and I'm going to show you five of the top blueprints that I think are worth downloading. Blueprints can be found on the Home Assistant Blueprint Exchange page and I'll share a link with you in the description below. There are literally thousands of these available now, so go there, have a look, search for different types of blueprints or automations that you may be needing to get your system running and I'm sure you'll find some really interesting ones. Today I'm going to share with you the top five that I found interesting most recently. Uh, in later episodes, I will be going through installing these and showing you how they work. But today, I'm going to introduce you to the top five. So number one, we've got the bathroom humidity exhaust fan blueprint. Now, for me, this is a really exciting blueprint because when I installed my heat recovery ventilation system, about a month ago, I installed a really basic automation that would um, close a relay and trigger the boost system for my heat recovery system so that it would suck the damp stale air out of my bathroom when I take a shower and dry it again for my next use. Now, the way that I was doing this was I had just selected a certain humidity and I was at the moment using about 80%. Um, so that worked fine on days where humidity was around 70. I'd take a shower and it would boost up to 80 quite quickly. Problem would be on other days when I had a humidity of say 50 or 60% average humidity outside. And then when I took a shower, it was not boosting up to 80. It would only go up to 60, 70% and the fan wouldn't go into boost mode. So this is a really cool automation because it actually allows you to select a percentage increase of the humidity. It's got a whole lot of other things that you can control as well. So this one is definitely worth a closer look. Next up, we've got advanced circadian rhythms. Now, circadian rhythms are basically the use of lights, both color and brightness, to simulate the movement of the sun throughout the day and therefore the change in natural lighting conditions. And it's said that by adjusting your lights to the circadian rhythms will improve your sleeping patterns. So I thought this was really good. I don't always get the best night's sleep, so I thought I would try this. So effectively you need some lights that have got um, color control and then you just hook up this blueprint and away you go. Um, next up, we've got the advanced heating control. Now, um, I had some huge amount of interest in the Home Assistant generic thermostat video that I did um, about a year or so ago. It's been really well received. So when I came across this one, I thought it was really cool. So this offers you some additional features. It offers you things like presence sense, both from a millimeter wave sensor, as well as things like geolocation of people living in the house. Um, it also offers things like frost protection, how aggressively it actually changes the modes, um, and all sorts of other things based on people's schedules, etc. So I'm quite keen to try this on my uh, heat pump system, which is linked in via a uh, Wi-Fi connection to my home assistant. Um, the fourth one we've got here is wake up light alarm sunrise effect. So this one is in a way quite similar to the circadian rhythm. Effectively what it's doing is simulating instead of turning the light on bright or blasting you with some music to wake you up. This is effectively doing a slow change of the light. So slowly turning it on and changing the colors and giving you that slow, nice sort of effect to wake you up. The last one we're going to talk about is a really simple one, but really probably something everyone is going to use in their home. And this is a sensor light based on motion sensors. And you might think, well, I just have my motion sensor connected to a basic automation. But there's a whole lot of things more in this blue, uh, blueprint that it allows you to do. For example, when you turn on a light and someone is just sitting in a corner of the room and the millimeter wave is perhaps not working as well as what it might be expected to, you would then want various delays in turning the light off. So this, um, this blueprint's got delays and it's got a whole lot of other 
clever smarts that it does around sensor lights. So anyway, those are my top five. Um, I'm not going to go further today, but in future episodes, I will share with you once I've got these up and running and give you some feedback, show you how they were installed, what I connected up to them, and then give you some more information. That's all for me now. You have a great week. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos. Bye for now.